Paul Walker was an American actor and philanthropist, best known for his role in the Fast and Furious franchise. He lived a relatively private life, and there is no public record of him getting into legal trouble or being involved in criminal activity. He was known for being a car enthusiast and for his charitable work through his organization, Reach Out Worldwide which provided disaster relief to areas affected by natural disasters. On November 30, 2013, Paul Walker died in a car accident while attending a charity event for Reach Out Worldwide. Paul Walker died in a car crash north of Los Angeles in November 2013. At the age of 40, Paul Walker, 27, appeared Monday before Rensselaer County Judge Andrew Sereja, and after serving nearly five years in prison or jail, was released on $2,500 bail and put on house arrest with electronic monitoring, court officials said. Walker's retrial had been set to start Monday in the 2009 shooting of a Hoosick Street Pizza store manager in a robbery. Last week, Sereja ruled that the prosecution's crucial evidence, including DNA that allegedly put Walker at the scene, was inadmissible. In an appearance on Thursday before Sereja, Assistant District Attorney Shane Hugg said his office will appeal the judge's ruling to the Appellate Division of State Supreme Court. Hugg also said his office is not ready for trial and asked for an adjournment. Walker was found guilty of attempted murder in 2011 and sentenced to 25 years in prison for the Domino's pizza shooting which permanently injured the manager, and the robbery. The conviction relied on evidence connected to a cell phone allegedly belonging to Walker and an unrelated earlier robbery of a Queens bodega. In 2013, an appellate court reversed his conviction over improperly obtained DNA evidence and ordered a new trial. At a pretrial hearing, Walker's attorney, William Roberts, argued that the cell phone and information gleaned from it were not legally admissible. Sereja, in a written decision last week, agreed with Roberts, setting up the option to ask for bail for Walker. As a result of the decision, prosecutors may not use any information regarding the cell phone. The case unraveled over conflicting testimony from a New York Police Department detective and the Queen's Bodega clerk. They told very different stories about who obtained information from the cell phone, and Sereja said he did not believe the detective's version.